Today we're going to do a different sort of video. This is going to be acid preparation. And the previous forms of preparation I've done are mechanical, primarily driven by the Dremel 290. So with acid preparation, we're relying on an acid, in this case, acetic acid, to dissolve away the rock and then leave us with our fossil. The fossil in question is a fish fossil that I found at Runswick Bay. This fish fossil has some unusual lines of what look like bone, but uh, I was uncertain what they were. Uh, I approached the Yorkshire Fossils Facebook group, asked what they thought they might be, and everyone seemed to think that they were probably fish scales. So quite an interesting and quite a rare fossil potentially for the Yorkshire coast. Uh, it's not very rare if you go down to the Jurassic coast on the south coast, but in Yorkshire, fossil scales are pretty unusual. The first step in any fossil preparation using acid is to understand what concentration of acid you want to use. And the more concentrated the acid, the faster you'll dissolve the rocks, but also the higher chance you'll cause damage to your fossil, either through uh, the acid directly attacking the fossil or through instability of the matrix because you've dissolved away so much of it. Therefore, uh, we needed to dilute this 80% acid down to somewhere between 2 and 5%. And for people who don't know, acetic acid is the same stuff as vinegar. And vinegar's acid concentration somewhere in the region of sort of 3 to 5% depending on the brand. So using this concentration, 80% um, you dilute it with 15 parts water. That gets you down to about 5% uh, concentration. You then submerge your fossil between one to two days in this acid solution. And at the end of those two days, you take the fossil out of the solution and then submerge it into water for anywhere between two days and a week, uh, depending on the, the strength of your acid. And the point of this is to remove these salt solutions and this acid out of the matrix, out of the fossil, so it's not doing damage throughout the time and you're not trapping any acid in the fossil. Once you've done that, you can then add some adhesive or wax to the bits that are newly exposed to try and control where the acid is attacking before you put the uh, fossil back into some acid and repeat the whole process. And the number of cycles is very much dependent on the fossil itself and what you're trying to expose and get out of it. For me, I was trying to figure out what were these little tiny bits of bone sticking out the side of my, my block? Were they scales or are they something else? I'd suggested maybe fin rays. Uh, so the little cartilaginous rods that uh, are in fish fins that help them keep that shape. And we see that these are indeed not scales, but layers of bone in very close proximity, something that very much represents and looks like fin rays. Uh, so I've exposed one full stack, a second stack is starting to be exposed, uh, and there's a few more probably underneath the matrix. However, I'm going to leave that there with the acid prep. I've discovered what they are, and uh, quite pleased with where we're at. Thanks a lot for watching, uh, and I hope you enjoyed a look at the fossil preparation doing something a bit different to usual.